Once upon a time, there was a nice, efficient method of public transportation here in the Lehigh Valley, and Bethlehem was right in the middle of it. It was clean, it was efficient, and it was affordable. But it's been gone since about 1953. Now, the Lehigh Valley Transit Company, which operated, and they, of course, were the predecessor to what we know as Lanta today, they operated a rather complex rail system that connected the three cities, Allentown, Bethlehem, and Easton, along with all of their suburbs, Hellertown, Northampton, etc., to Philadelphia and to the Slate Belt. Like I said, a complex system. Not much is left of it. And today, you'll find a lot of people, including civic leaders, who believe we should still have a light rail system to alleviate some of our worst congestion here in the Lehigh Valley. But that's for someone else to solve. For the purpose of this broadcast, we're going to just take a fond look back at what once existed here in the Lehigh Valley between about 1890 and 1953 or so. So sit back and enjoy this sentimental look back at the trolley system. And pay attention to the details, especially in the photos and the videos, and check out how much the area has really changed over the years. The Lehigh Valley's electric trolley age was from about 1890 to 1953. During this period of time, the three cities and their suburban towns enjoyed safe, efficient and affordable public transportation service. Electric trolleys were also clean. Dependent upon ridership to cover maintenance and operational costs, the Lehigh Valley Transit Company was at the mercy of the public. Ridership jumped during the World War II years due to gasoline rationing but after the war, the number of riders dropped again as they returned to driving their cars. By 1949, many of the Liberty Bell Limiteds were running almost empty. Let's take a few moments to look back at a bygone era. The films are from the Douglas E. Peters collection.
Thank you.